I'll talk about the history of convolutional neural networks and I call this part of history as CATS and it will become obvious why I call it so. So uh, around 1959, uh, Hubel and Wiesel did this uh, famous experiment, there's still I think uh, you could see some videos of it on YouTube where uh, there was this cat and there was a screen in front of it. And on screen, uh, there were these lines being displayed at different locations and at different orientations, right? So slanted, horizontal, vertical, and so on. And there were some electrodes uh, uh, fitted to the cat, and they were measuring, trying to measure that which parts of brain actually respond to different visual stimuli, right? So if you show it a stimulus at a certain location, does a different part of the brain fire, and so on, right? So, and one of the things of outcomes of the study was that. Uh, that different neurons in brain fire to only different types of stimuli. It's not that all neurons in brain always fire to any kind of visual stimuli that you give to them. Right? So this is essentially roughly the idea behind convolutional neural networks, uh, starting from something known as neocognitron, which was proposed way back in 1980. You could think of it as a very primitive convolutional neural network. I'm sure that most of you have now read about or heard about convolutional neural networks, but something very similar to it was proposed way back in 1980. And what we know as the modern convolutional neural networks, maybe uh, I think Jan Likun uh, is someone who proposed them way back in 1989. And he was interested in using them for the task of handwritten digit recognition. And this was again in the context of postal uh, delivery services, right? So a lot of pin codes get written or phone numbers get written on uh, the postcards. And there was a requirement to read them automatically so that they can be the letters or postcards can be separated into different categories according to the postcard and uh, according to the postal code and so on, right? So, or the pin code. So, that's where this uh, interest was there, and 1989 was when this convolutional neural networks were first proposed or used for this task. And then over the years, uh, several improvements were done to that. And in 1998, this now famous data set, the MNIST data set, which is used for teaching deep neural networks courses or even for initial experiments with various neural network based uh, networks. Uh, this is one of the popular data sets which is uh, used uh, in this field and this was again uh, released way back in 1998 and even today even for my course I use it for various assignments and so on. So it's interesting that an algorithm which was inspired by an experiment on cats is today used to detect cats in videos. Of course among other various other things is just uh, I'm just jokingly saying this. <laughs>